All right, this is Big Dog's Port, and today on the flow testing, we have a 351 um, GT40 Lightning Lower with a um, 5.0 Explorer Upper. Now, this customer uh, wants to run this application on a stroker motor. Um, it's a nitrous application. It's going to have a half an inch nitrous plate that's going to go between the upper and lower and he wanted um, this combo stage three ported so he wanted to be able to run um, extended rpm and support more horsepower naturally aspirated as well as more horsepower once he kicks on the nitrous so um, he said that's this intake manifold and we're going to flow it after we cleaned it up, sandblasted, you know, some of the cast and paint off of it, uh, cleaned it up, and we're going to do an initial flow test to see what this combo flows stock. So, here we go. We're flowing the number, you see a six, the number six runner. And we're at about 230 CFM. About 230 on a number six. Um, the lower did have some gasket matching. As, 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 as far as any previous work done to it. Um, gasket matching really doesn't, you know, increase CFM. You know, that's just pretty much for cosmetics most of the time. If you don't hit the the ports entry um, the curves um, uh, the radiuses so gasket matching if that's all you're doing it pretty much results in no significant CFM gain especially when you have a stock upper um, the gains are going to be minimum so we're going to go ahead and treat this manifold with our stage 3 porting it's going to get Stage three porting on the lower, and stage three porting cut, welded, shortened upper. It's gonna get a 80 millimeter throttle body tunnel. And then we're gonna come back and reflow it to see what the number six runner flow gains will be. We have, of course, we have everything blocked off here and the injector hole blocked off there um, and for those that don't know our flow bench calibrates the readings um, uh, calculates the readings at 28 inches so whatever the depression is on our flow bench uh, it's going to automatically calculate to 28 inches um, we can run 28 inches but we have to run more motors which uh, is a pretty big draw and it's not needed you know we do our flow testing here um, to gain before and after results you know if we're going to do anything that we're going to try to compare to anybody else's our flow bench is fairly accurate you can go back and look at some of our our cylinder head flow results um, before flow results and you can see it matches up with Pretty much um, um, everybody else's, you know, Superflow 600 or whatever that's calibrated and calculated to 28 inches. So, like I said, once again, this application is going to receive our stage three porting on the upper and lower. We're going to come back and flow the number six runner just to show you guys that you can get a tremendous amount of flow even on a a GT40. 351 lighting and lower explore upper combo um, so stay tuned and see you guys at the track 